Hello friends, welcome to Border Bananas and Flippin' Friday. Flippin' Friday is a collaboration I host on the third Friday of every month at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, and it is open to all YouTube creators that want to flip a project, give something a makeover, update something, whatever your heart desires. Just be sure to mention my channel in the beginning of your video and add the playlist link as well as a link to my channel in your description box and we are golden. For my project today I will be creating a farmhouse style two-tiered tray. I'm going to be starting with this apple patterned wooden dish type thing that I got at the Goodwill. Um, and I'm just taking off all the hardware, the stickers, and giving it a good cleaning in preparation for some paint. And then I'm going to be repeating the process for this wooden Lazy Susan. For the center support of my two-tier tray, I will be using this candlestick that I found at Goodwill for $1.99. It is really cool in that it comes apart and um, it kind of just screws together. And on the outside of the candlestick, which was part of the candlestick, is four napkin rings. And I thought that was really neat and it made for a cool piece because I can use the napkin rings as feet on my tier tray and use the candlestick as the center support. I took both of my wood pieces out and spray painted them with matte black spray paint. And as I did, I realized that I forgot to fill the holes for in the top piece, the, this piece you're looking at here, where the rope used to be. So I also spray painted some paper brads, the kind of, you know, those little gold metal things that you stick through the holes and paper to keep to make it into like a little notebook when you were a little kid <laughs> and in school. And um, I spray painted those as well. And I'm just going to bend them over and fill them in the holes on the front and back so that both sides of the hole is filled in and it actually ends up looking really cute. And then I gave each piece two full coats of Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory. And then I lightly distressed both of the painted pieces with this little tiny sandpaper type thing it's actually a fingernail file one side is 120 grit the other side is 180 grit it's perfect for these types of types of projects and I use them in all my DIYs uh, I do have them linked in my Amazon store if you're interested um, and I'll, I'll see if I can get another link and put it down in the description box for you they are really really handy the most tedious part of this whole project was finding the center of the big round disc to do that, I, me I eyeballed it and put it in the center as best as I could and then I measured around, all the way around several times, several, several times, <laughs> 
to make sure that the measurement was the same all the way around. And when it was, I marked it down with my pencil, glued it down, and now I'm touching up where I um, had marked it down with my pencil just to make sure that I had gotten it center. Then I drilled a hole in the center of the round, I'm just gonna call it a bowl, <laughs> for the top. And I'm going to screw that on where the top of the candlestick was. And it does leave a little bit of room for the candlestick to go ahead and screw back on. And I'm also using a little E6000 just to make sure it's nice and secure. Then I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue on the top of the candlestick where you would actually put the candle in, into the top of the bowl to cover up that little uh, drill hole. Then I screwed a curtain rod finial into a piece of cork from a wine bottle into the hole from the corkscrew. And I cut the cork down to pretty short so that it would fit inside the candle holder <laughs> to make a you know faux handle for the tiered tray. Then just did a little cleanup and decorated and called it good. The link for the playlist is in the description box. It's the little downward pointing arrow or it'll say show more. Uh, click on that and the description box will open and you'll see the link for the playlist right there. If you click on that, all of the videos that are participating in this collaboration will be there for you and you can binge watch them one after another. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Leave me a comment down below. Bye guys.